Are you new to KSP 1 or 2? Do you want to do more advanced missions? Struggling to dock craft together? If that's true, then continue watching. Hello and welcome to your Orc Team Brick. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on one of the more advanced concepts in Cobble Space Program, Rendezvous. The first part of a successful mission is good craft design, and for Rendezvous, you're going to need a rocket capable of orbit with Delta V left over once in orbit and you're going to want to place a docking port on it. I recommend placing it in line with your engines, so on top of the capsule is fine. Don't forget to add radial parachutes. You might want to add RCS thrusters and monopropellant, and those will make docking a lot easier, but you don't have to have them. So now that your craft is built, you'll need to launch it. For our first, or target craft, launch it into a low inclination circular orbit. Now, it's important that with your orbit that your periapsis is a good distance above the atmosphere. This is because you want to be able to adjust the orbit of the second craft if we launch to either be above or below the orbit of your first craft. And why you want to do that will be explained later. So now you have your target craft in orbit, you need to launch, you need to launch another craft to dock with it. Before you launch, set the target craft as your target. To save time, you can wait till a target craft is west of the Kerbal Space Center near the Desert Peninsula, but you don't have to. Launch the vessel in the same inclination as, your tar as the target vessel. Now, you, you always want the height of your orbit to be different from the target vessel's orbit. By this, I mean a good amount higher or lower, but still circular. Now, create a maneuver node slash maneuver plan. The reason there's diff the reason it's maneuver node or maneuver plan is because it's maneuver node in KSP1 and maneuver plan in KSP2. Drag retrograde or prograde till your apoapsis or periapsis intersects the target's orbit. If you're playing KSP1, use the skip orbit button until the closest intersection, uh, either of the two, it gets within a few kilometers of the target vessel. If you're playing KSP2, you don't have access to a skip orbit button, so, you'll need, so you will need to time warp a few orbits and keep recreating the maneuver until, you, until the closest intersection is within a few kilometers. In case you want, use the maneuver mode, which is located in, in the bottom left of the screen, which uh, you need to access. You need to press uh, a button on the uh, lower left panel to access it, and use that to fine tune the maneuver to get as close to a target as possible. And, well, in case we do, you just need to use the vectors on the node. Well, plan. Execute the burn and time warp to a closest encounter, and then you need to switch to nav for the target mode, and then burn retrograde relative to your target to kill the uh, relative velocity. This now means that you and your target won't drift apart. Then point towards the target and throttle up a bit. You don't want to go too fast. If you start going further from the target, point retrograde, get off relative velocity, and burn towards the target again. Repeat this till you're within hundreds of meters of the target. Now that you're so close to the target, kill off your relative velocity one more time. Now, select control from here on the current vessel's docking port, and then click on the docking port on the target and set to the docking port as, a tar as the target. Switch to target and repeat. And you also need to uh, set the SAS on both to uh, target. Both vessels are now pointing towards each other. Then you need to do a small burn on one of the engines, and uh, I recommend not going above 0.4 meters per second because too fast and there's a risk of damage and bouncing off the docking ports and just not having a good time. And now you can use the RCS uh, that you added to keep the docking ports aligned. You can tell if the ports are aligned by looking at the nav ball. If the prograde and target markers are on top of each other, then the alignment is good. And now you can sit back and watch as the two craft come together. When docked, you can transfer resor you can transfer resources and kerbals between the two craft. 
if you want to return home, just click on one of the docking ports and undock, and then you can just do orbit like normal. Now, using the, now this tutorial, this was just for like a basic like uh, Germany Adrena style mission, where it's just two vessels docking and then separating. But using this uh, rendezvous and docking method, you can build multi-launch interplanetary vessels, modular space modular space stations. And you can do Apollo-style landings on other celestial bodies. I hope this tutorial proved useful and that you will subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.